Hey folks, welcome back to our Dice Tower preview. I'm Mark, and today we're taking a look at Dwellings of Eldervale. Dwellings of Eldervale is brought to you by Breaking Games. It's for one to five players, ages 14 and up, and games range anywhere from 60 to 150 minutes. Dwellings of Eldervale is an epic worker placement game set in a once lost magical world. Giant elemental monsters roam while dragons, wizards, and warriors battle for supremacy over eight elemental realms. Players control unique factions seeking to adventure, battle, grow in power, and ultimately shape the world to their vision. All right, so we're not gonna jump in and take a look at how this game plays. No, we're not gonna do that because there are tons of videos out there already that you should go check out if you wanna see how this game works. There's even a live play from Tom and the guys that is totally worth watching. However, today we're gonna to be looking at the legendary monsters. Now, there are eight legendary creatures in this game and they're huge, 50 millimeter in size and they're dyed to different elemental colors in the game. However, we're also going to be taking a look or a listen to all their different sound effects because there are bases that you'll put the creatures on top of and then placing them on the board, they'll make their sound effects. All right, so let's jump right in and take a look at the Cloud Spirit. Cloud Spirit's power is Rising Wind. As long as the Cloud Spirit is in Elder Vale, all units may use flight as if they were a dragon. Next up is Charging Earth. Charging Earth's power is Stampede. When the Charging Earth wins a battle, the active player must move it into an adjacent realm, occupied if possible. A new battle is then triggered. And next up we have the Volcanic Terror. The volcanic Terror's power is Inferno. As long as the Volcanic Terror is in Eldervale, all magic cards may be used as if they were fireballs. However, fireballs may not be used in a battle with the Volcanic Terror. And next up we have the Kraken. Yes, so let's release the Kraken. And the Kraken's power is Deep Riches. As long as the Kraken is in Eldervale, when you place in a water realm, you may choose to gain a treasure token from the discard pile instead of the normal token or resources. And next up, we have the Golden Griffin. The Golden Griffin's power is Eagle Eye. As long as the Golden Griffin is in Elder Vale, you pay one less resource for the first adventure card you acquire on each turn. And next, we have the Haunting Phantom. The Haunting Phantom's power is Deadly Shadow. As long as the Haunting Phantom is in Elder Vale, at the end of each turn, each unit in a rune must be placed in the underworld. The Haunting Phantom, when dominated, is immune to this effect. And next, we have the Bringer of Justice. The Bringer of Justice power is Reinforced Armor. You may not roll combat dice in a battle with the Bringer of Justice unless you have your warrior in the battle. And finally, our last legendary creature is the Arcane Thrasher. The Arcane Thrasher's power is Dispel Magic. When you battle the Arcane Thrasher, if you roll five or more dice, then you must discard a random magic card from your hand. So that's just a quick overview of those new legendary creatures. They are amazing. The miniatures are beautiful. And of course you still have the eight standard monsters coming with the game. Those are very cool as well, but we thought in this video we would just give you a look at those legendary creatures. All right, folks, just a reminder once again, this has been a Dice Tower paid preview and everything you've seen here has been in prototype form. So keep a close eye on the campaign for any changes that still may occur. Now with that said, you know, this game has a lot going on. I really like all the worker placement aspects. The fantasy theme works really well. And of course, these miniatures, these monsters, and the legendary monsters are fantastic. And I have to say, my favorite faction is the Ogres. I've had a ton of fun playing that faction, and I highly recommend you try it. 
All right, folks, so if this looks like a game that would be of interest to you, I'm sure they'd appreciate your support. So I think that's it for me. And until next time, we'll see you at the table. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.